Hey family, how we doing? Joseph Baba Ifa here. It's another wonderful day here at Bodaniga Candles and More. New video today, right? So this video is going to be based on a question that comes to me from a friend of mine in Texas. I was able to be present during his initiation and help coordinate the ceremony. And uh, you know, afterwards, everybody has a lot of questions, right? You've just gone through this incredible experience of going through the Mano Orula or Isefa, Iko Fafun or Owofagang, depending on your gender. And you got a lot of questions, you know, you, you've seen things you've never seen before, you know, you see people speaking in other languages, you see a couple, you know, strange concepts, and you just, you have so many questions and you want them answered, right? So one of his main questions was, is what do I do now? What happens now? What comes now? So basically, what do we do after we receive hand of Ifa? First and foremost, um, at that moment, the relationship between you and your godfather begins, right? Really exciting. You know, it's a, it's a forever long, eternal long relationship um, in the future as well as after death. Um, you know, in the afterlife, we still have the same godfather. So I always tell people you want to pick, uh, you want to pick a good one, a front, right? Because you you have to deal with them forever, and you have to create a, a harmonious relationship with them forever. So first and foremost, building that relationship, right? Getting to know each other. Um, sometimes you have the opportunity to do that beforehand. Sometimes you don't. And if you didn't, you know, now is the time. Getting to know each other, spending time together, etc. Once we have the relationship building uh, that has begun, then come the more firm questions, right? Or firm teaching, right? So the first thing we want to do after we receive Hand of Ifa is learn how to take care of all the things that we have, right? Uh, we want to learn how to take care of Eshu. I mean, if you received it in the Afro-Cuban tradition, you received Eshu, uh, the warriors, as they're known, Osun, which is the metal rooster behind me, right? And you received Orumila. And whoever has received Orumila know what he, knows what he is and what he's composed of. So first and foremost, we want to make sure that you're learning how to take care of that. So you have to start building a relationship with these deities, because if you don't take care of them, it's like you never received them in the first place, right? That's how you really build that relationship and get to know them. So after we get there, um, you definitely want to start learning about your Odu or your sign. Very important because based on your Odu um, and your guardian Orisha, you know what path is going to be most convenient for you or beneficial for you within the religion, right? So first and foremost, we'll look at your sign. Then we'll look at your guardian angel and we'll see what your guardian angel did there or what the overall undertone of what the sign is recommending for you, right? So after Hand of Ifa, you have a couple different options based on the path that you choose, right? Some people are born to be spiritists, right? Within the Creole tradition, it's very popular to take the path of spiritism as a, as a religious, I guess you can say, career, right? And um, in your hand of Ifa, it'll have undertones of that. Um, most definitely, your guardian angel will show signs of that. And, um, you know, if you're meant to be a spiritist, you know, within a complete religious house, there should be options in front of you for someone who can begin to uh, take you under their tutelage so you can start learning. Uh, about spiritism, how to develop your, your spirit, how to know how to communicate and interact with it better, how to make yourself more fluid so that if you're meant to come down in trance, um, all of those things can happen, right? That comes through development, time, apprenticeship, all of these things, right? But there are definitely Odu Avifa that say that the person was born to be, uh, to a certain degree, Omo Egum, or son of the spirits or child of the spirits, right? So that's one path. Um, after Hand of Ifa, another thing that uh, could be in your near future is the crowning of Orisha, right? Or the Yoko Osha ceremony. Um, as such, everyone has the right to enter into the mysteries of their guardian Orisha, right? Regardless of any characteristic, right? As long as, you know, we're talking about upstanding human beings in society, you have every right to be crowned within your Orisha. Um, and Odu will explain this as well, but it really comes down to desire with something like that. Let's say uh, you're a son of shang -Oh, and um, you have Hand of Ifa, and you know, you kind of like, you know, Padrino, I want to do Orisha, or I want to do Santo, hey, me, how? Um, you know, I mean, as a Babalao, we really don't handle that within the uh, Afro-Cuban tradition, but these are some Santeras, or Santeros I know, and, um, you know, we, I'll be a part of that ceremony, I'll complete my functions, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll start looking for a, a, a godfather, or godmother in Santo, or Orisha, right? So that's another step. Now, from another standpoint, uh, let's say we have a, you know, a gentleman who received Hand of Ifa and he has a desire to become a Babalawo. 
um, you know, once we know the Guardian Orisha and once we know his Odu, uh, we can definitely see whether it's beneficial for him. Um, as long as he basically um, has all of the requisites necessary to become a Babalawo within the, uh, you know, Creole tradition, we can definitely look into that as well. So we're seeing a couple different paths after Hand of Ifa, right? You might be an Epiritita, you might be, um, you know, an Olorisha, you might end up becoming a Babalawo. And all of the things that are in between, you know, some people are like, you know, I really don't want to crown Orisha, you know, I have my Manorula, but you know, I'd really like to get sworn into Osain. All right, we can talk about that, or I want to get sworn into Orum, or, um, you know, I just want to, you know, any, and there's so many options with any fine Orisha for you to specialize in based on your desires and your interests. It's really limitless. So it, it all comes down to Ori, right? What are your desires? What do you want to do? Um, what are you most interested in? And then comparing that with your Odu, seeing what's actually compatible with you, and then moving forward. So after Hand of Ifa, aside from anything that you may choose or has already chosen you by way of calling and vocation, the most important thing is building that relationship with your, uh, your godfather and that that guidance begins. Because, you know, with the cost of admission also comes the cost of tuition, as I like to say, right? Within the cost of your ceremony, you know, it's the obligation of the Babalawo or the Babaifa that in initiates you to also teach you how to take care of your things, uh, development within Ifa, within the limits that he's able to uh, function. But apart from that, guidance, huge part of that, you know, because when you're talking about encountering or interacting for the first time with something like Oddu, something as intense and as thorough as Oddu, you're going to need some guidance. And that comes from us. The, uh, the interpreters of this great oracle, right? That's why we have Ifa done, to be able to have the blessing in the Ashe, to be able to interpret, you know, these beautiful scriptures that have been passed down to us. So that's the most important thing. Get with your elders. First and foremost, pick good elders, right? Go through that process, get to know people. Um, apart from that, get with them, bother them, make sure, uh, you know, you're, you're, you're fulfilling your needs as well as theirs to be able to teach you. And uh, make sure you're getting that guidance as to what your next step should be. And everything is based on Odu, your guardian Orisha, and the interpretation of your godfather, right? So definitely wanted to respond to this question because so many people have it. Um, guys, thank you so much for the support. Things are going wonderfully on all ends over here. And um, once again, from Joseph Babaifa, nothing but love for you guys, right? Stay positive. Nothing but positive vibes. And uh, once again, Iboru Iboru Take care, family. Have a great day.